Hi everyone, the desk's a mess. Um, I'm not in my office workshop at the moment, I'm outside on this bench with my vice and stuff like that. I'm just messing about with some lithium batteries. Um, now, my old bench uh, power supply is here and it's been dumped really for about a year on, um, on a shelf in my workshop. And um, it's a shame that it's died because it was a good unit. It's a 60 volt. Uh, 5 amp unit. There are some details there. And what happens is basically this thing just goes boom. If you turn it on it just booms, it trips the consumer unit and that's it. Here's the board, the board for it. It says 1ptac.com and it's M1908 so about a year ago or maybe a bit longer I did have a bit of a mess about with this <coughs> unsuccessfully now where's the diode there was a, a bridge rectifier around here somewhere <coughs> I don't know where it is now but but basically what happens is that um, actually I should tell you about this first so there was one of those temperature coefficient things over here it's labeled RT1 I don't know if you can see it and um, basically it, it, the thing sacrifices itself for the fuse um, if it gets too hot it just blows so I've shorted that out because with, if you don't short it out you can't test it uh, or not properly anyway this is where the AC wires were here to there and over here we've got the um, 220 110 volt switch which you could leave it disconnected and it would be okay with 220 volts I've tested that now this is what seems to be going on I've tested a lot of different components and I'm going to go through them in a minute and uh, I, I can't really figure out what's going on here now this is the end result the bridge rectifier this isn't the original one but the bridge rectifier blows so when I turn it on the first thing to blow as far as I'm aware is the bridge rectifier so this one is a replacement one and this is now also dead so yeah it blows bridge rectifiers now the MOSFETs that are over here it doesn't blow them I've cut these out to test them and they're not blown right neither is the uh, this well I don't I can't remember what it's called I call it a double diode uh, this is not blown either and there's what looks like a, a Zener diode and that's also not blown so that doesn't get blown those components don't get blown so this gets blown the bridge rectifier gets blown and also if you can see over here there's some damage now see over here there's some damage obvious burnt there's an obvious point where where there's a bit of black there obvious damage these were diodes and um, tiny little diodes I don't know if you can see them SS shock key diodes and from what I gather I mean I've lost one of them um, let me just check I'll just turn this on and just um, be clear okay so are we on diode mode no we're not diode this thing's so tiny We have continuity that way. And we have, yeah, so that's shorted. So it's shorted the bridge rectifier and it shorts, well, it shorted at least one of those. Now, I, I dropped it a few minutes ago on here, so let's see if I can find it. They'll probably both be blown. No, I can't find it, but they're going to both be blown. So. Does anybody on my channel know what could be going on? What could be going on here? Um, so there is a little chip there. And I've done some research and apparently that is known to cause problems. So I'm thinking should I replace that chip? It's a TNY277GN chip. It's a switcher. Now I've replaced the um, the bridge rectifier and it doesn't fix it. 
Um, and I've also replaced these diodes before and they just blow again. So, I don't know what's going on here. I'm just wondering if anyone else has had this, this uh, power supply and fixed it. Anyway, thanks for your help. Bye.